What if the smarter your AI got, the duller your instincts became? Is that something you are willing to risk? Well, I came across a major medical study that showed doctors who were using AI and then had the AI taken away from them. Listen to me here. Their performance dropped by 20%. Doctors. I don't know about you, but I don't want my doctor's performance dropping by 1%, let alone 20%. But it got me thinking, how does this impact us as business leaders, as parents, as just members of the community? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the AI for Everyone Daily Brief. This study I'm referring to was published on August 12, 2025, and I'm recording this currently on August 13th, 2025. This is in the Lancet Gastronology and Hepatology. It explored the unattended consequences of artificial intelligence in clinical work. Now they conducted, this was conducted at four different Polish endoscopy centers, and this was part of what they called the ACCEPT trial. It covered 1,443 colonoscopies from September of 2021 to March of 2022. The detection rate dropped from 28.4% to 22.4% in non-AI cases. That is a 20% relative, 6% absolute decline. And I don't know about you, but like I said before, I don't even want a 1% decline here. Psychology Today calls this the AI rebound effect, where reliance on AI can weaken human skills, and we're going to talk a bit more about that. Similar concerns have been noted in other industries, drivers without self-driving tech, pilots with manual controls, or riders after using AI tools for an extended period of time. I just had a situation about a week ago. It's not about AI, but it's about tech. I was at my mother-in-law's house. She was having a car issue. So I jumped in the car. I was going to drive it around the block and assess what was potentially wrong with it. And when I hopped in, I, I froze. I had to back up out of the driveway. Well, she has an older car. It didn't have a backup camera. And it took my brain a couple of seconds to realize there's no camera. I got to turn around and actually look behind me as I'm backing up and then make my departure. So I froze for a few seconds. I had become so dependent on that backup camera that I froze. Think about how dependent we are on our navigation, our GPS on our phones or in our cars. We don't use landmarks anymore when we give directions. We don't even give directions anymore. There's no atlas in your back seat or in your glove box. We just type in where we're going and the phone tells us where to go. So imagine if you didn't have that and you literally had to navigate around for the next month without GPS, I, I think we would all be getting lost and not sure where we're going. Why it matters. Well, if you are, doesn't matter, you're leading a team, a company, your family, this is a hidden risk that we need to become more aware of and prepare for. Because tools like data dashboards and decision-making software, well, they're becoming more and more common in business, in our lives. I know I default to AI a lot when I am trying to make a decision. It could be on a video script. It could be on an ad. It could be on what I'm going to eat tonight or what olive oil I'm going to use. Check that video out right there. I, I love that video. The number one thing I want you to take away from this Lance's study is this. Your brain stops practicing key skills when AI takes over. It does. We need to be prepared. There's a few things you can do to be prepared, and we're going to talk about those in just a minute. But think if you have a system outage or a power outage for an extended period of time, and you need to do things manually. What if ChatGPT went down tomorrow? I know there's 58 million other LLMs now, but if you become so dependent on something and then you need to do it manually for a while, those skills are just not going to be there. And as we de-skill ourselves and pass that off to the machines, understand this is going to impact a lot more than just medicine, 
or even business. I mean, this is going to impact team trust. This is going to impact credibility. This is going to impact your success. So we need to make sure that we are putting a focus and we are preparing for this. And we have to make sure that our teams are getting the right training. So that way you don't miss a beat. Everything is just smooth as it can possibly be. How it impacts you. Well, this is, I mean, I touched on it already. This does impact your credibility, your strength, your success, your productivity. And I don't want you getting caught in this AI rebound trap. And the number one thing, advice that I can give to you, this is something that I'm working on myself, is to mix your AI work with manual work. Maybe it's just one day a week. You just don't use AI if you're a daily user like I am. Just take that one day just to turn it off and not use it. Maybe you're going to review data by hand. You're not going to run it through. For me, I'm going to write my own complete script. I'm not even going to run it through any of the LLMs. I'm just going to start doing my own search for the next story or for whatever it is that I'm trying to do. I think that's very healthy because it does look, your brain is not a muscle, but if you don't use it, you lose it. So if you are watching YouTube videos, if you're reading books, if you are using critical thinking skills and improving on those, it's like the gym for your mind. It's so important. How about trying to run some decision drills? This is kind of simulating a crisis and not allowing anybody to use AI to solve it. This is great for team building. It's great for critical thinking, and it's going to improve your workforce, your team so much more, because if you do have some type of scenario, you're going to be prepared for it. It's no different than when I was in the Navy and we did some of the same drills over and over and over. And sometimes you just question, like, why are we doing this for the 900th time? But then you realize if something does happen, it's just going to be automatic. You're going to be able to take care of business without even thinking about it. Because you put in that work. Your brain understands what it needs to do. So here are the three key takeaways I want you to have for this video. Number one. AI can boost short-term memory, but it can weaken your baseline skills. I see that for me, I get some massive short-term memory, but it's coming at the expense of some long-term memory. Well, we've got to find a way to bridge that gap because I want to amplify myself today, of course, but I also want to enrich myself for the future. And if I'm doing it this way, I know a lot of you are doing it this way and a lot of college students or high school students are doing it that way. So we want to make sure that we're getting the proper tools, the proper mindset, the proper exercises in the hands of everybody so we don't become these drooling fools that don't know how to do anything anymore because AI is doing everything for us. Uh, key takeaway number two here, manual practice keeps judgment sharp when tech isn't available. That's just the way it is. And number three, healthy habits. This reduces overdependence on AI tools as well. In future videos, I'm going to start talking a bit more about health and wellness, physical well-being, mental health, all the things that go in that. Look, one thing I'm learning here, I know it's a little bit off topic, but but it does hit with these cognitive skills is the power of sleep and how important getting seven plus hours of good sleep are for your productivity for your mental health, for your physical health, for the whole thing. I always thought I was a great sleeper, but I started using AI and apps and tools, started tracking my sleep. Oh my gosh, I'm a terrible sleeper. And this impacts me throughout the day. I get tired at certain times that I shouldn't because I haven't gotten the proper sleep. I'm not getting recovery when I'm at the gym fast enough because I'm not getting good sleep. I lack some mental focus at times because I'm not getting quality sleep. So look, we need to become more and more well-rounded as AI continues to progress. This is going to be so much more important for us. So these are topics I'm going to be touching on in the very near future. Oh, and one more thing. Come here, come here. 
AI can amplify your leadership, but it's your instincts that anchor it. Technology should support, not replace, your judgment. The leaders who thrive will be those who can pivot seamlessly between an AI-powered world and human-driven decisions. What's one skill you would practice this week without AI to improve your leadership skills? I would love to hear from you in the comments section. And our time together has come to an end. Well, if you found value in this video, please hit that subscribe button, like button, bell notification, all the good stuff. I wanna hear from you, leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel about this topic, what other topics you would like me to cover. Well, my name is Harrison Painter. This has been the AI for Everyone Daily Brief. And until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and most importantly, keep up. God bless you. Thanks for listening. I'm glad you stayed. One more spark for the plans you've made. If this show hit, go share the vibe. Like, subscribe.